Hey friends, Dylan Bates here with the Final Cut Bro. Today I have an exciting tutorial showing you how to make this cool heartbeat audio visualizer within Motion 5. This is somewhat of a part two to my original audio visualizer tutorial. So if you haven't seen that, I strongly recommend you watch that as there is some pertinent information within that video on how to create audio visualizers. So there's a card in the upper right hand corner right now that you can click on to watch that if you're so interested. And without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is open up a new motion project. So let's go ahead and open up motion here. And we are just gonna select our motion project. You can set the frame rate and everything to whatever you would like. And I will just set the duration to 30 seconds just to keep this tutorial on the shorter side. Now let's go ahead and push open. And from here, we are going to wanna import our song. So we can just push command I and we can hop into our music folder here and just push import. And there it is. If we play through, we can hear it playing, which is perfect. Now, we, if we wanna have further audio control over this, we can actually come up to this audio panel here and you can turn the volume up or down to whatever you like. Now, from here, we are going to actually create kind of the emitter that's creating the heartbeat waves. The first thing we want to do is actually create a circle. And we can just create this anywhere in our template and just drag it out and push shift so that it locks it to a perfect circle shape. It doesn't matter the scale, we are going to set all that a little bit later. Now, go ahead and select your circle here. And we are just going to push this make particles button or you can push E if you like keyboard shortcuts just like I do. From there we can see that it's emitting stuff but it's not quite how we want it. So the first thing we want to set is our emission angle being 180 degrees. Now that is going to be pushing everything off to the left hand side and I'll show you how. Next, we want to select our emission range to zero degrees, and that's just going to keep it on a perfectly straight line going to the left hand side. From there, we're going to want to take our scale down here at the bottom and drag that way down so it's just creating a thin line. After that, we are going to come up to our speed and drag that out so that the uh, emitter is actually pushing out off to the side there. From here, we are going to actually want a whole lot more particles being emitted to create a solid line. So to do that, we are just going to come on over to the birth rate and we are going to drag that way up to something like 300. Um, it might be even higher by the end. Just remember that the higher you set this number, the harder your computer is going to have to work. So just keep that in mind. Now, I actually want this emitter to be off kind of to the either the right hand side or maybe even centered up, just like a heart monitor. Um, let's go ahead and set it. Let's actually do center it up. So we'll set it in the middle there and then we will actually drag our life up just a little bit longer and we only want it to be going to the edge. If we make it too long, whoops, I made that way too long. So let's go to where the emitter stops. There we go. And then drag the life down. Let's see here. My computer's already working hard for this. There we go. Now it's just emitting to just off of the screen and that's important just to keep things running relatively smoothly. The next thing is we're going to want to animate this going up and down, but we don't want to do that manually. So go ahead and come into your emitter, go to the properties and go to your position tab here. And we're going to be animating this on the Y axis uh, for it to be driving up and down down. So go ahead and click on this down arrow and go to add parameter behavior audio. And just like in my original audio visualizer tutorial, this is going to drive the movement that's going on here. So if we come on over to our audio driver, we can select the song that's playing throughout this video and that will analyze the audio. Make sure you let it go all the way to 100, otherwise you can have some weird um, animation glitches and such. So now that is actually driving the animation 
um, going up and down. But you'll notice that nothing's really happening. And that's just because the scale of movement is so minute that you really can't tell something's happening. So we're going to come over down to the scale factor here. And we're just going to drag that way up. And now you can actually see that it is creating some nice animated movement. And that is looking awesome. The next thing we want to do is actually set our frequency to the bass frequencies. And this will make it so it really drives hard on those bass hits. Now we're going to come down to the floor factor here and we're going to drag that up. And that will actually just flatten out some of those minute uh, movements on the floor here. So we now have a nice flat looking line. We're going to drag up the speed a bit, I think. Now I'm kind of just playing along with this idea, um, figuring it out as I go because, you know, that's sometimes how you got to do it. Great, that's looking much better. Now you'll notice on some of these peaks that there's these dotted lines. And if we want to fix that, we're going to have to drag up our emission amount. So the birth rate here. So let's drag that up to something like 500. Let's see what that does. And you'll see it's already solidifying the line even more. So if we do something absurd like a thousand, that should really solidify the lines. But remember, this is going to, you know, tank your computer a lot more working with so many extra particles. And I might actually set our render to like half. So you can see it's really, you know, making my computer work for it. Yeah, we better stick with 300 for now. And then at the end, we can set it to a much higher quantity. Um, there we go. Okay. We've now got that going and I might want these audio peaks to be a bit higher. So we can actually drag this scale up considerably here. Great, that's looking awesome. So we've already got a pretty good base here. And um, again, we'll fix all these dotted lines a little bit later when we're ready to export this by dragging up the birth rate amount. So the next thing we want to do is actually make it so that it's got this nice kind of fade off in a color. And luckily that's extremely easy to pull off. So go ahead and go to your emitter and go down to your color mode here under the emitter tab. And we are going to select over life. That will automatically have like a, a gradient happening over the life of our particles. So we want at the very beginning our particles to be nearly completely white. And that is just going to be setting them at the brightest value we can. And then we want them to darken up quite a bit by the end. And you'll notice that it's just getting to this light blue. So that means uh, my emitter is a little bit too large. So we are going to fix that very easily by taking down the emitter life settings here, if I can find it. Okay, so take our emitter life and we're going to drag that way down until it's just barely past the edge. Great, that is looking fantastic. So the next thing we want to do is I want to create these really cool little mini particles that kind of come off um, right as the audio is really peaking. So we're just going to duplicate our original emitter by selecting it and pushing command D and that will duplicate all the the automatic motion which will make our jobs a little bit easier. The next thing we're going to want to do, I'm going to rename this just for my sake, um, mini particles. We'll delete that. So we've got our mini particles here and if we come into our emitter settings, we can set our emission range here to something like 180 degrees. You'll notice that it's shooting all the way up vertically and to the left and I, you know, I might take that down to like, maybe we'll do 100 degrees just so it's generally shooting off this direction. And then let's take our birth rate all the way down to zero and that will be driven by the audio waveforms. So, um, so we'll get to that in just a little bit. I might, here, let me drag a few on there just so we can see what we're looking at. Take our scale way, way down to, so it's just tiny particles. And we'll set the scale randomness here quite a bit. There we go. Now we got a nice 
few particles coming off there. So drag the birth rate all the way down to zero. And then from here, we're going to jump into the, uh, the birth rate cell control. And we're gonna add an audio parameter behavior there and set that to the song. Now, as the music drives, hopefully it'll, you'll notice that it released a particle here right at the peak. And that's exactly what we want. And we'll set that to the base frequencies. So we're gonna actually wanna set the scale considerably higher so that we get a few more particles coming off um, at the right moment. And we might drag up our floor here so it's not happening on those, those lower flat areas. And let's see if we can get this to, to make a few more. <laughs> if I take this number way up. So that's actually creating a really cool effect that I didn't intend where it's just going vertical. But um, I think we wanna drag up the speed on this emitter a little bit so that they're pushing off to the left hand side a little bit faster. So just come to the emitter and we'll drag up our speed a little bit and maybe select our speed randomness just so we got a little variation. So now if I'm playing through. And I think that's looking really cool um, as the music's really building. Uh, there's a whole lot more particles going on on the screen. Now we can leave those the same color if we want, or we could actually set the colorize over life uh, to something different. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it the same so they're kind of matching, but feel free to play around with that as much as you want. The last thing we're gonna do on this tutorial is actually create um, a nice glow that goes over the top of everything. So just select your group and everything should be contained within that group. We're gonna add a filter glow and just slap that on there. And we could drag this radius way up to 100. And I like to drag the softness up as much as we can. And then we can set the threshold to higher or lower so that it's just kind of generally blurring along as it goes. Very cool. I think this is looking really fun and uh, adds some new dynamic variety to the music. And I, I like that it's a heartbeat because it kind of reminds you like the, the heart of the music, the beat of the music. Kind of a cool way to visualize your music. So the last step on this would be to go into your main um, emitter here and drag the birth rate up to something. Let's see if we do 800 what that does. Lines are pretty solid. We might want to do the full thousand. Oh man, we might even do 1500, I don't know. There we go. So if we drag up our quality to the full setting, you'll see that we've got really nice clean lines and we could just export this and uh, and put it into our video as we so desired. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, consider subscribing as I have brand new tutorials for Motion and Final Cut Pro and some other apps um, every single Wednesday. So. It's always a fun time and I really, really do appreciate you guys sticking around. Again, thank you so much and I will see you next Wednesday.